Hello everyone, welcome back to the painting tutorial. Um, I am rocking a bit of a cold and this is uh, filmed in dribs and drabs so you'll slowly hear me getting worse and worse and then slightly getting better again um, and then getting worse. Um, so this is the Soviet armor painting tutorial. Um, it's super quick, um, super easy to do. Um, I've kept it this way because you're going to be doing like about 20 odd tanks at a time probably with the Soviets. And last thing you want to do is uh, been spending too much time on there trying to get them done. Um, reason I've done Soviets uh, now is because we've uh, just had the latest uh, book come out for them, uh, so I've bought some new toys. Uh, so um, follow me on this journey through sickness and health and sickness again um, for a nice easy way to paint up your Soviet uh, armour for the battlefield. Okay, so here we have the model base coated. Uh, I've gone with brown, you can use grey. Um, I prefer to use uh, lighter colours, um, just I don't want the model to be too dark. So what we're going to do, we now need to go over the entire model. You can leave the tracks uh, blank and we'll be going over it with uh, Vallejo um, Cam Olive Green. Uh, so just uh, go over the model uh, with that and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so that's the base coat done. Um, you can do another coat of it just to have a better finish, but I see these guys are being quite rough and ready, so I don't mind um, a little bit of undercoat showing here and there. You know, it's worn, it hasn't been um, made properly. These are just being pumped out quickly to get to the front. Um, and if you do have the spray paint of it, I suggest you do that rather than base coating it with a brush because it takes forever and if you have an airbrush I suggest you do it that way as well. Uh, so next what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing the road wheels and we're also going to be putting a little bit on the end of the barrel to make it look like it's been firing a lot. Um, we're going to be doing that with uh, contrast black templar. It's nice and thin it's quite e quick and easy to go on but if you want um, it to be a bit darker um, I would use the black legion uh, version instead because it's just a bit blacker black. Um, so we'll do that and we'll come back. Okay so that is the road wheels done and we also have the muzzle painted black as well make it look like it's been uh, firing. So next we're going to be doing the tank tracks and uh, we're going to be doing that uh, contrast wild wood. Um, any tool handles that you can see uh, do them this colour as well. On this one there isn't any, but on the T-34s there might be, and there definitely is on the Emchers. So uh, do that this colour as well. Okay, so that is the wild wood dried now. <clears throat> so next we're going to be going on to the metal areas of the tools, machine guns and the lamps. So this guy is just going to be the lamp, which is nice and easy for me. Um, for that we're going to be using um, gun metal, but any like dark metallic paint um, would do. Uh, so we'll come back to, to us. It's, it's only going to be the lamp on this one, but I'll show you anyway when it's dry. Okay, so um, that's the lamp done. Um, so all we need to do now is wait for that to dry and then we can shade the model. Uh, so we're going to use a uh, null oil. I do have another pot. Um, I'm not running out anytime soon. And then uh, we wait for that to dry and then that's basically the model finished for painting purposes. Okay, so that's the null oil uh, all dry now, so it's gone into the recesses. Uh, so basically, um, that's the model finished. I suppose you could uh, dry brush it if you wanted. Um, the colour guide is going to be in your respective army book or colours of war. Um, for me, uh, I got a lot of Soviets to paint, so I'll stop here. But what I'll do, I will show you how the model looks uh, once I put the transfers on. Okay, so that is finished now. Um, so with the transfers, you can see that there's the sheen that they normally have is gone. It's because I used um, anti-shine matte varnish. Um, that will also give them a little bit of protection as well. Um, so there you go. Nice and simple. Bit rustic, but um, you're going to have like quite a few of these to do. So the quicker you can do them, the better, really.